we I'm not gonna do anything big for it because it's just so close to Christmas not only that but she's so young I think that's the biggest thing for me <laughs> Hey fam, so welcome back to our channel. Once again, your girl is filming with the phone. Did you try it with her? You wanna show them? Yeah. Anyways, welcome back to our channel. Erin just got home and picked up some groceries. So I was gonna do a quick little grocery haul because my camera is charging again. I don't know. We ordered a jacket online for Zoe. We've been looking for one for her for a while. So then we resorted to ordering one on Amazon. Yeah, got pretty good reviews guys. Got pretty good reviews, but honestly, it's not even that great. Like, it's it's good. It's not bad in terms of look, but it's it is cheaply it's, it's cheaply made and it's polyester. It's, it's polyester shell. It's down filling though. That's really why I got it. Cause it's supposed to be warm. I tried it on her and she really doesn't like it. She's not a big fan of the fur. I think the fur is like very. Um, let's see. Let me hold it up. The fur is very ticklish. And it's just kind of wild. It's not tamed at all. So I don't think she likes it. She doesn't like it. I tried it on her and it's a little ill fitting, but I don't know. It's okay. It's just the sleeves are long. Not a big deal, but it's the jacket. Overall, the style of the jacket is good. The hood is another thing that's kind of dumb. The hood is useless. It's not, it's just for style. Oh, it doesn't fit her head. The hood is weird. Don't you see it? It's like barely a hood. Oh my goodness, that is weird. It's meant so that it doesn't fall over their face. No. no, I've seen it, I've seen it. You ordered it from China. I've seen those jackets on people. It's supposed to be like fashionable, right? Because oh. they like that kind of style. But for a kid, it's a little different because it doesn't fit their heads. Anyway, so that's that's news. I mean, that was not supposed to happen. No, it wasn't. But she that's asked her to try it on and she brought it from me, she took it from me, she dragged, it across, dragged it across the ground and threw it into the foyer. <laughs> and then ran away. Yeah, she's not a big fan. Oh, you can see my other Christmas tree. See, see, yeah, there, there are two. Oh. <laughs> of which the kids decorated themselves. Anyways, he just, Aaron just came back from the grocery store. The storm, there's like a bit of a storm outside. It is not nice out there, guys. So we didn't, anticipate i did not anticipate going out and i still am not feeling well from last night these girls just came back from their um christmas party how was it it was, it was awesome she missed us. She missed us. oh and then <laughs> check out gabrielle's ugly sweater <laughs> and then charlotte's wearing the opposite we're just wearing, wearing a cute sweater. <laughs> yeah, so that's what happened for the afternoon. The girls and I went to the mall briefly, but we didn't spend a lot of time there because I honestly was not feeling very well. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I feel ill, but I just wanted to capture the girls for you guys in their cute little outfits because they had a Christmas party too. So it's another Christmas party for them. Aaron just stopped at the grocery store, picked up some groceries. I'm so not even like the biggest fan of this whole him stopping and grabbing groceries. It's convenient, but it's really, I do enjoy going to the store. Sometimes I get to, when I'm shopping, I get to see things that I wouldn't mind cooking or just get inspiration. It's hard just shopping from home, like just without any visuals, without, I just feel like you get into the routine of buying the same things over and over. as. Though that's not a bad thing if you're a creature of habit, but it can just become very, like, I guess, kind of boring. If you shop at Costco, like, they don't, they don't sell a lot of different things all the time, right? So generally they carry a lot of the main staples that people will buy. Anyways, I'm going to show you really quickly what, what he picked up. Um, some of a few of the things the kids immediately put away because the milks we picked up two different milks as per usual zoe's drinking milk um the three percent and i just didn't even think we'd get to this point because at first she didn't like it and now she loves it except she likes it with a little bit of chocolate in it <laughs> so yeah she does like that um it's so weird i have mixed messages about this whole milk thing because the more yes milk is good for you but with all that's going on with the cows these days and all that nastiness and the cows not 
being, you know, in their healthiest state. I'm so turned off by milk and but I don't want to not give it to her because I don't want her to miss out on the nutrients that she should be having. Just such a good catch 22. Like us parents, I don't know if we really have like it is up to us to ensure that our kids have the best of the best and to try to make sure that we're feeding them the things that are healthy, but it's so hard. It is so hard to make sure to know if you're making the healthy choice, the right decision. Um, because deficiencies are a thing. I think the kids read not that long ago about that boy who was deficient. He only ate craft dinner, or maybe Aaron was telling the kids yeah. the story, but he only ate like one food group, which was craft dinner. I mean, he was essentially eating carbs, but then he was lacking all these other nutrients. And that's what I don't want to happen to her. So like until she's at the stage where I feel like it can, I'm equipped to ensure that she's getting all the nutrients that one needs without consuming dairy. I don't know where else you'd get it. You can get calcium, I think, from other things such as certain vegetables and stuff, but I'd have to make sure I'm really on it to make sure she really eats all those things so she is getting what she needs. But um, yeah, so that's that's where my heart's at in terms of that, but we'll see what happens. So these are the these are the groceries that we just got, guys. Um, some of the main things that you will see that we pick up all the time, like sweet potato eggs. We do pick up this yogurt all the time. Um, there are some new things, however, though. There's some new things like this, this baking powder. I'm not familiar with this, but it's from Costco, so it's probably good. We picked up um, butter, these sticks of margarine, and ignore the wetness because some, it's snowing a lot outside, so these things came in wet, but we've got salted and unsalted, and I guess the unsalted is for baking. That way our baking goods will have less salt. Um, then we've got icing sugar because Zoe's birthday is coming up and we also need to bake a cake for that. We got Nutella. We already took one out because Zoe could not wait. She needed Nutella sandwiches, a Nutella sandwich right away, apparently. <laughs> Avocados, bananas, zucchini, a bag of apples, our favorite cereal, our favorite cereal, the cranberry, and the kids like mini wheats as well. Blueberries, raspberries, and grapes. Um, these grapes are looking, they're not looking too hot. The grapes that we got last week, we kind of ran into the same issue. They were just not very good. We end up having to throw out a whole bag. So hopefully, so I, I think we're probably gonna have to exchange these. We got this bag of pears that I showed you guys last time. They were actually pretty delicious and they did last a while. Uh, a giant bag of semi-sweet chocolates. We plan on doing, or chocolate chips. We plan on doing some baking over the holidays. I did have on the list, I also had macadamia. I wanted Aaron to pick up some macadamia, but his phone was dying. So I had to spew like the list to him super fast and it didn't have, like he just didn't have time to to hear the whole list before his phone died. And so um, this is what we picked up. Oh, we have a bunch of other non-grocery related items that I wanna show you guys as well. So we picked up the, these, these are my favorite face wipes. Oh, I think they upped the package again. Now we're back up to 180. At one point, they only had, they were changing it up, and it was like, I think, 130 or something like that. I don't know. And then we ran out of the diapers for Zoe, and we wanted to, we usually use the Huggies one, but because he was at Costco, I was like, let's just try something. Let's try their brand. I did research it, and people had really good things to say about their brand. Um, they said that their brand was made by Huggies, which is what we were using anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. I haven't used the diapers themselves yet, obviously, because they're new. So I will tell you guys how that goes. She's still in size 5, I think. She she could almost go into 6, so we'll see. Um, but overall she's doing, the fives are doing really well. It's not like we have any issues with them any, they still fit. So yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. The weather outside is frightful. Um, it is so snowy and it is so cold. I, I feel like I've been hibernating because I literally have not left the house for two weeks. Um, I, there's a bunch of things I need to do because Zoe's birthday is coming up. Her birthday is on the 22nd, by the way. Um, so we, I'm not going to do anything big for it because 
it's just so close to Christmas. Not only that, but she's so young. I think that's the biggest thing for me. This is like what I feel like it's how we how we kind of deal with the holidays or the birthday thing without um stressing ourselves out. I find I I personally don't want to stress myself out around her birthday time. Yes, it's her birthday, so we will definitely celebrate it, but we'll celebrate it most importantly together and we'll we will be celebrating it with our family. I feel like at 2, she doesn't care about how uh, extravagant her party is she just she's just a toddler yeah the birthday at this stage is really just like the it's really about the parents it's not about the kids and it shouldn't really be that way so and I'm not saying if you're celebrating it grand then like it's you you shouldn't I mean to each their own I'm just letting you know what we do and I there's so much going on right now I refuse to be stressed out <laughs> with birthday stuff, but we will be celebrating it basically twice. <laughs> we'll be celebrating it together and we will be celebrating it with our family as well.